Okay, great. Welcome back to Bay Area Focus with documentaries and features from the Bay Area and beyond. The San Francisco Film Festival has an exciting schedule in store. And joining me today is Rachel Rosen and Jennifer Pong, and she's going to tell us about her documentary. And you're going to tell us about the film festival, Rachel. Why don't we begin with you talking about um, the San Francisco Film Society and how it's just going to be coming up in just a few weeks. Yeah, we have our International Film Festival that's starting April 23rd, and it goes through May 7th. We're going to be showing uh, 181 films from wow. over 40 countries uh, all around San Francisco and the East Bay and beyond. And I know that you're the director of programming, and um, we have a lot of local influence. Is that right? Yeah, I and mean, the Bay Area is really lucky to be rich uh, in filmmaking culture and also to be a place that people are interested in. So we have both a lot of films by Bay Area filmmakers and films about uh, Bay Area topics like our opening night film uh, which is a documentary about Steve Jobs. Wow and Jennifer why don't we talk about uh, your film you're the director of Advantageous and uh, we actually have a clip just give us a little preview of what we might watch it's about a mother and daughter. That's right it, um, it actually takes place in the near future and it's a sci-fi family drama um, and actually it premiered in Sundance in January and won a special jury prize. Wow. Um, and uh, it looks at what a parent is willing to do to protect their child's future. Well, let's take a look at that. We have a clip and this is advantageous. So they're saying that all this wacky hormonal stuff is coming from pressure to be hyperproductive. We have too many choices and we're making the same ones over and over again. And they're the wrong choices, actually, so it's like natural deselection. Our DNA is opting out. Did you know that by the time I'm 20, I may not have any ovo left? You know, for babies. You'd think awareness would help things, but... Awareness influences things. It just takes time. How much time? That's advantageous. I want to see more. <laughs> Obviously, you Rachel, can. you're like, and you can. You should. <laughs> uh, absolutely. 181 films. Um, and tell me, how long did that take in the process in making that? You said it was filmed in New York City? That's right. Um, actually, it started out as a short film for ITVS. Um, we were part of their Future States series, which was a series that was looking at um, the future of the United States and, and issues. And um, and then um, after I finished the short film, I, I showed it to um, the San Francisco Film Society, and um, they uh, offered their support through the uh, San Francisco Film Society Film House Residency, which um, takes place here. So I was able to develop and fundraise to, to turn the short film into a feature film. Amazing. Yeah. Every time you watch it, you must see a new aspect of it that you, that you didn't see before, I imagine. Uh, yes. I mean, even though I spent, you know, at least two years with this with this footage. <laughs> it's really exciting to uh, discover moments that are amazing actors. And uh, the audience uh, reaction to it, probably, too, that maybe you didn't expect. That's right. Different audiences react differently. Right. Um, we have a really interesting cast, too. Um, in addition to um, the mother and daughter that you see here, the mother's played by Jacqueline Kim, who's this incredible actress, who also co-wrote the film with me. Um, uh, Ken Jong from Community came on to uh, produce the film, and he has a role in it. And uh, Jennifer Ely, who was in Zero Dark Thirty and also the BAFTA Award winning actress. And she was also in Fifty Shades of Grey. She, uh, she plays a really interesting role as a, a chairwoman of a really kind of interesting and insidious corporation. Wow, fascinating. Well, Rachel, I know that you want to get the word out about how you can access or see these films. So what's the best way? Because obviously, I'm in. Great. <laughs> uh, I think the best way to start is on our website, okay. which is SF. FS .org. Yes, we'll show that information for sure. Yeah, and um, that way we have the festival divided into sections so you can sort of look for what might interest you because it's a very broad selection. Uh, we have wonderful documentaries, local films, but also some very big names uh, coming to visit us. Yeah, at let's the talk festival about some of those. I, I heard uh, Richard Gere's name floating around that he's going to be receiving an award. Yeah, we give some major awards mm -hmm. at the festival, and Richard Gere is going to be receiving an award for acting. Uh, and he's bringing
bringing a new film called Time Out of Mind, in which he's really wonderful. He plays against type a bit, so he's playing a homeless man wow. and uh, really causes you to think, you know, oh, he's not just a good-looking leading man. He's also a really wonderful actor. He can play all roles. Is yeah. this year different than, than last year or any other years? Are we seeing different uh, influences? Well, I would say one of the things that's different at the festival is we're really trying to um, bring some enhanced value to uh, our screenings. So a lot of the screenings will have special Q&As with uh, either expert guests or people who are involved in the film. For example, we're showing a documentary about the Black Panthers, mm -hmm. and we're going to have uh, up to 25 former Black Panther members at the screening to answer questions after the film. Wow, wonderful. Well, Rachel and Jennifer, thank you so much, and look forward to uh, the weeks to come. It's an exciting time, and thank you for being here. For and us. for more information on the San Francisco International Film Fest, log on to sffs.org. That is sffs.org for more information. Coming up, a range of financial programs for low-income Latino residents. We'll be right back.